Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Thursday, December 29th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. Easter starter. And this is wordplay, so I don't think it's going to be about the holiday Easter. I think this is going to be a nor'easter, the storm. Nada. That could be nil. Good thing to give someone while standing. A standing ovation is a very good thing to get. Comebacks. I really want that to be retorts. Nice, okay. What might have bumps on a log? And this is more wordplay. Hmm, bumps on a log. What is this talking about? I wonder if it's talking about a toad. A toad would have bumps and a toad could be on a log. Hmm, I wonder if that's right. For one. Hmm, I don't know about toad. Makes the rounds. It's not circles. Hmm, sort who's easy to tick off. So this is someone who gets angry very easily. Maybe it's a hot something? Hmm, it's not a short fuse. Influential ties. Okay, that's going to be ins. X, that could be the Greek letter chi. Uh, hmm. This really seems like it wants to be circles, doesn't it? I wonder if we have a rebus today. C-L-L-E-E-S. Hmm. I guess E-S could stand for Spain. I don't know. Very interesting. Element of an English opening in chess. Well, um, I guess it has to be a chess piece. I'm gonna guess it's not a pawn because pawns are involved in every opening. I wonder if it's a rook or maybe a king. Hmm, chicken king. And this is wordplay. So it's not gonna be about the king of all chickens. Hmm. Is this someone who's a coward? I don't know. Chicken blank king. Hmm. What leftover salad greens do in the refrigerator? They wilt. Yeah, you gotta eat those pretty quickly. I swear, an equivalent phrase. I would really want this to be honest. I guess it's possible we have rebuses today. Oh, maybe it is just a pawn. That's so funny. Okay. I guess this could be no lie. And then George who wrote Romola. I'm going to guess it's George Eliot. Even though I haven't heard of Romola before. Gathering of protesters. Hmm. Um... It starts with L-A-T. Interesting. I'm not sure what this should be. I really appreciate it in text speak. Is that going to be thank you very much? Is this really a V? DVR Pioneer. Oh yeah, that'll be TiVo. Okay. Um, I wonder if it's a rally. Hmm. You know what? It could be late rally. A late rally in sports is like a comeback at the last minute. I don't know why it would be a gathering of protesters. Why would it be late? Rally makes sense, but late doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. Interesting. Makes the rounds. Hmm. What is this? Pinch in the kitchen. I guess that could be salt, right? You could add a pinch of salt. Could this be a CL in a rebus? Hmm. EACL. That doesn't really make sense to me. I definitely think we have some theme weirdness going on in this section here. Let's move on and see if we can uncover another example of the theme for us. Maybe that could be our large flightless birds. 
Okay, well, we have an emu. That seems like it satisfies the clue. Kind of in the same way that Rally does. It almost seems like we have an extra part of the answer that doesn't have to do with the clue. Hmm. Is this just emus? Idol. Hmm. King at the start of Game of Thrones. Um, it's not Ned Stark? I guess he wasn't king, was he? Oh, what was the name of the king? I can't remember. Shoot. I have read those books. Hayek who portrayed Frida Kahlo. That was Selma Hayek, right? Um, is it an A? Or an E here? Lime Chaser. And this is wordplay, so it's not going to be about a drink. Lime Chaser. Hmm. I wonder if it's Lime Aid. It could be a suffix. It comes after Lime. It chases Lime. Took the bench, say. That's got to be sat. See ya, an equivalent phrase. That's every Wordle player's favorite adieu. Okay. Models used in copying. Hmm. Models. I'm not sure what they're talking about here. Capped. That seems like it should be limited. More petulant in a way. Uh, hmm. So you're giving someone an attitude? Is it just meaner? Hmm. I don't know. This is plural. Maybe this is an S. World Cup Datum. AU? Hmm. Maybe this is not adieu. Maybe it's adios. And this could be assist? Yeah, that seems pretty good. Hmm. Why would this be temps? That doesn't make sense to me. The last Pope Julius. Well, it looks like it has to be Julius the third. Hmm. This theme is really blocking progress, isn't it? Uh, was it Robert? I think it might have been King Robert. Yeah. More petulant. Is it like moodier? Hmm. Interesting. It feels like there's a rebus here. O-D. T-E-M-O-D-S. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. That's interesting. And then... What is this? This is so odd. It feels like we have one kind of mystery letter in each theme answer. Idol. Hmm. Backing could be aid. Maybe this is not an S. Hmm. Interesting. Grassy expanses. Okay, that's going to be Lee's. Camper's detritus could be ash. Molt. Uh, hmm. Maybe that shed. Okay. The other side, that's going to be us versus them. Hmm. Camper's protection. Okay, that's a tent. We have tent and ash. A lot of camping in the middle here. Okay, we've got a revealer. I'm going to look at this because I have no idea what's going on in this theme. Overnight work assignment. Or a hint to understanding four rows of answers in this puzzle. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, maybe the weirdness is happening in rows. That's why there's two kind of weird squares here. And some weird squares here. All right, so what is this going to be? Overnight work assignment. Shouldn't that be a late shift? Ooh, yeah. Okay, so that means it's not a tent. Hmm. A late shift. So, what is this going to be? Camper's protection. Hmm. Okay, well, it kind of seems like we have a late up here, right? Late rally. Um, is this emulates? 
Oh, so late is inside emus. There we go. And this is a loaf. This is a bit for slightly. Okay. Um, does that account for the weirdness here? I wonder. Uh, hmm. It doesn't seem like there's another late here, does it? Makes the rounds. Hmm. I don't know. Well, maybe for one could be each, if we're talking about a price for something. And then this seems like it's gonna be circus, but that's not makes the rounds. Hmm. Is late interfering with circus somehow? Circulates. Oh my god. Okay, so you're taking the late from circulates and putting it or shifting it into emus to make emulates. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so that means there's something here that should have a late in it that doesn't. Models used in copying. That should be templates, right? And that does give us temps. Very nice. Okay, and this is mopier. Wow. That was really, really tricky to figure out. I'm really happy we hit that revealer when we did. Okay, so this should be a hothead. This is deet. Oh, okay. It's protection against bugs. All right. Lazily lie. Um, I wonder if this is going to be a lol. You're lazily lying down. It was blank a dream. It was all a dream. Cry at La Copa Mundial. Um, I've never heard of this before. It seems like it has to be in Spanish. Um, hmm. I have no idea. Sections of a barn. I think that's going to be stalls. Okay. Cutter with a curve. Is that going to be a saber? No, that doesn't quite fit. Scimitar would be too long, too. Hmm. Saw the sights. Is this about being a tourist? Maybe it's toward. You got it? An equivalent phrase? That could be yup. Hmm. Cut her with a curve. Work as an interpreter. Hmm. I think this is going to be one of our theme rows, right? Yeah, we had the third down here, so this will be the third from the bottom. So that should be translates, right? So this is going to be translates. And then this is going to be something with an extra late in it. Size option at Starbucks. Okay, well, there's tall. Um, I don't think if you add late to that, that makes anything. There's a venti. Ooh, that could be ventilate, right? That's great. Ventilate, there we go, nice. Okay, I think we got the hang of this finally. So this looks like it's gonna be something with an extra late in it. Chili, maybe that's just cold with a late in it? What would that give us? Collated, yeah, that's a word. Okay, and then this is gonna be something missing a late. Fresh start metaphorically. Um, it's not a new leaf. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. Big Sur Runner beginning in 2020. Runner? I'm not sure what they're talking about here. Oh, they're talking about the operating system, Big Sur. That could be an Apple computer, an iMac. That's very tricky. Okay, tried casually with in. It seems like that should be dappled in. Good name for a firefighter. And this is wordplay. It sounds like it's going to be an aptronym. Um, hmm, what would be a good name for a firefighter? Does it sound like water? I don't know. Something dingy. And this is wordplay. 
This could go a million different ways. I think the standard reading would be something dingy, like something dirty, but it could be about something that makes a dinging sound, like a bell. This could be a peal, right? That's a word that can describe a ringing sound. That is super, super tricky. Okay, blank mater, that should be an alma mater. Okay, so it's not peel. Um, I wonder if it's bell, actually. Yeah, and this is not dappled, it should be dabbled. And this will give us bell, there we go. And this will be an alma mater. Nice, all right. Good name for a firefighter. Um, hmm. I'm not sure about this. Hybrid beverage in a bloody Caesar cocktail. Um, I think this is probably gonna be Clamato. Yeah. Forensic initials, that's gotta be CSI. Points to, in a way, could be IDs. One in a hundred? Hmm. Maybe it's talking about senators. There's a hundred senators. Yeah. And then this is... Cleans. Yeah, this could be a clean slate, right? A fresh start? That's great. Excellent. All right. Um, What is this? What would be a good name for a firefighter? It's not Blaze, is it? Oh, like Blaze Pascal? Yeah, maybe it could be. All right. Body part affected by heterochromia. That's when you have two different color eyes. So this is a toy. Top, for instance, but not bottom. Yeah, there's no toy called a bottom. And then we have ore. It's stored in a vein, yeah. Not a vein in your body, though. Okay, so we have another X. Um, I guess this time it's a Roman numeral. It could be 10. Okay. Makes less difficult. Oh, maybe this is Blaze with an S. Yeah, that looks better. This could be Eases. Okay. Blank doing. Um, in so doing. Oh, man. Cry of accomplishment. Okay, that's maybe done. Stomach dropping feeling has to be dread. Piece of an overhanging roof. That's an Eve. Draped garments gotta be a sorry. And you might check their crossings abbreviated. Yeah, that'll be streets. So this is a scythe. Oh yeah, for harvesting. Sister Blank Prejean, author of the 1993 bestseller Dead Man Walking. I've definitely not heard of this writer. Former name signifier is going to be Ne, the French word for born. Show with featured players in brief. That's SNL. This looks like it's got to be Helen, right? And then one time Ford executive. Yeah, this is a son of Henry Ford, who had a notorious flop named after him. I don't know if you've ever heard of the car, the Edsel, but yeah, that's the namesake there. And then this is going to be gal pals, euphemism for a lesbian couple. Yeah, I guess so. So this will be goal. Oh, I guess this is the World Cup in Spanish, right? Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right, let's throw this G in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Thursday puzzle in 26 minutes. That's not too bad for a Thursday puzzle with a pretty tricky theme. So today we are shifting late from one answer to another. We've got four rows of answers where the word late is taken from one word and inserted into another. This was really baffling while we were working on it, yeah. We really needed the revealer to get any traction on this theme. So instead of templates, the late ends up next to rally and gives us laterally. Yeah, I really appreciate how all of the new words are also legitimate crossword fill. So we had circulates becoming circus and emus becoming emulates. Yeah, these were all really fun. And by the time we got to the bottom of the grid, we were able to take the knowledge of how the theme was working to actually fill in the last few theme answers. Yeah, I think we got trans and ventilate thanks to knowing how the theme was working. 
There was some nice wordplay today too. I really liked this one, something dingy. Yeah, these kind of homographs are very tricky because it looks like it says something dingy. This was a pretty fun afternoon too. Good name for a firefighter, Blaze. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed working the late shift with me on this Thursday puzzle. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the themeless Friday puzzle. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you.